Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to review a fundraising investor database for the analytics sector. If you watch my previous videos, you know that you can click my Fiverr link below to get information on investor databases for venture capital, private equity, Andrew groups, family investment offices, and more. I also help clients with pitch deck reviews. If you're getting ready to send your pitch deck out to investors, I have a service on Fiverr where I will review it for you. Approximately 80% of the pitch decks that I receive are not suitable to be sent out to investors. Databases are now free with a pitch deck review. So uh, starting in September of 2023, I am giving one sector database for every client who orders a pitch deck review off of me. Contact me for more details. This will allow you to hit the ground running with your pitch deck and a list of potential investors to send it to. Please take a second to support my channel by giving it a like, sharing it, or subscribing. So here are the sectors that I will cover in these upcoming videos. Uh, there's about 30 different ones here. So if you're startup or you're looking to raise funds in any of these, uh, these next videos will show you the databases that I have within my 400,000 investor contacts. And it will give you an opportunity to send your pitch deck out to them and raise funding. So take a look at this video, uh, which is on analytics, and keep in mind the ones that are coming up in the future. This video highlights how I assist clients with investor databases in the analytics sector for their fundraising initiatives. So for the analytics sector, I am using, first of all, the word analytics, and then the subcategories of big data, machine learning and AI, information technology, technology, and SAAS. So there's a wide range of potential contacts in these different databases that we can use if you are in the analytics sector. So what did the final database include? So I was able to find 5,250 contacts that included 2,700 emails, 3,200 LinkedIn addresses, and 5,400 websites. And that also included some key contacts with their titles and email addresses. What type of contacts will benefit from a analytics investor database? Analytics startups, that means early stage companies developing innovative analytics solutions, tools, or platforms seeking seed or growth capital. Tech entrepreneurs, individuals or teams with a prototype or idea that leverages analytics who are looking for funding to take their idea to the next step. So there's a lot of those potential uh, targets. Uh, I'll get con I get contacted by a lot of people who have a prototype or an idea stage and these are the type of contacts that will take a look at those opportunities. Uh, usually angel groups, angel investors, uh, but definitely uh, micro uh, venture capital or early seed, pre-seed. Uh, data infrastructure companies, so that's companies offering solutions that support analytics like database technologies, data warehouses, and data lakes, which may want to integrate or synergize with analytic firms, and vertical specific companies, so those are businesses in sectors like healthcare, finance, marketing, and e-commerce that are increasingly reliant on analytics and might want to build proprietary analytics tools or platforms. So this sector is very large and includes a, a uh, many different uh, varieties of databases. Uh, so we're going to take a look at those coming up. So let's take a look at the database. So now we're over on the database section and as you can see here, this was the main one that I used using the word analytics as the first keyword. Uh, then the second list has big data. Uh, third one is machine learning or AI and fourth one is technology 
and the last one is SAAS. So those are the databases that I'm able to use to draw a fairly large section of potential investors if you are in the analytics field and most of these are going to have the country, the type, website, LinkedIn's, emails, uh, the description as well in many cases so you're going to be able to do more research and of course these databases are not meant to be used to, to spam the client with your pitch deck they're made to be to use for research so you can start your fundraising uh, and outreach in a very formal and systematic method so that you can try to make connections with people if they do not have an email most of the time you're going to be able to find either a LinkedIn address on the database or if not when you go to their website you're going to find many times their LinkedIn addresses and also many times you're ac actually going to see their email addresses uh, inside the website uh, and those tend not to be uh, publicly available or on other different investor platforms so uh, the best approach is to try to do about 50 at a time do your research set up your spreadsheet your contacts spreadsheet uh, so that you can tackle it uh, in uh, small amounts and I also advise clients that you should use three different types of investor letters uh, you can use my service on Fiverr if you go click my Fiverr uh, profile down below uh, I have a service on Fiverr where I can actually create investor letters for you by creating three of them in different uh, tones and, and methods uh, you're going to be able to get the most out of databases like this. Now you're also going to be able to make really good business contacts so you should not think of your fundraising as just a fundraising exercise. You are also going to find that some of the contacts on these lists are companies and groups that actually use that service. For example if you have a software program or uh, some sort of technology that may help the venture capital field, that may have help uh, hedge funds. You may find that you may pick up actually business if you do your marketing for your fundraising properly. That's why it's really important to uh, treat it uh, in a way that you're introducing your company and if people do not want to invest you still want them to be able to find an interest uh, about your company so that you can make contacts later on. Just because the people that you contact today uh, do not want to invest does not mean that after you've made your first round of investment in another year or two uh, then they may want to take a more serious look at you. So you have to look at your fundraising in those terms. So again we've got the analytics, big data, machine learning, technology, SAS and in review uh, there, again, there was about 5,200 contacts, 2,700 emails, 3,200 LinkedIn's, and 5,400 websites. So that's how I help a client in the analytics sector with their fundraising initiatives. Are you looking for updated investor databases? My databases include venture capital, private equity, family offices, angel investors, angel groups, and high net worth investors with over 400,000 verified global contacts. And be sure to check out my full database of family investment offices, the perfect way to access ultra high net worth investors. This is the largest database of family investment offices that you're able to access. There's over 10,000 contacts. Click my fiber link below for more information. Thank you for watching this video.